Rob Walker, that guy with the glasses. Dear Robert, first off, thank you for your submission. We actually do watch anything and everything sent to us and give it our full attention. Unfortunately, your submission is just not what we're looking for right now. This may change in time. Our needs are always at the whim of our site restrictions, budget constraints, future company plans, talent moving on, the rise of the proletariat, and Icelandic volcanic eruptions. While we can't guarantee you will get accepted in the future, you are welcome to resubmit again. <laughs> my life is meaningless! Okay, I just want to say that my wife Ash, who has been in past reviews, has been deported, so I'm stuck with the baby. Um, so my reviews are going to be even more limited. That's why my Christmas review I've recorded and scripted way ahead of time. That's why no other reviews have actually been put out for a while. Um, the same for the worst movie ever, which will be in February. But all the way, it's February 2nd. I got the date wrong in the trailer, so it's February 2nd, the worst movie ever is coming out, the review. Um, so reviews are going to be even more delayed as if they aren't delayed enough already. But this is what this is about. Q&A, this one's a bit early again, uh, mainly because I've got so many questions and because I've got nothing really else to do until the Christmas review, which will be uploaded on the 25th. So here we go. Jordan Winehouse, a regular in these episodes. Number one. I recently rewatched a review of Popeye and you got scared when you saw John Travolta's character from Hairspray. Do you also hate that movie because of cross-dressing? To be fair, I haven't actually seen it, but I saw that image and I had no idea it was John Travolta until a friend told me. It just kind of creeps me out. Two, is there any sci-fi, films, shows, games, etc. you actually like? The Faculty. Great film. <laughs> That's really the only thing that comes to mind right now. E.T. <laughs> the Faculty and E.T. Who are your favourite singers in terms of genre? Okay, I'll have this. Now, I like rap. But not like Dizzy Rascal and Soldier Boy and Lil Wayne and all of that shit. Eminem is my god. I like uh, Snoop Dogg, Nas, Exhibit. You know, um, it's mainly Eminem. That's my son squealing in the background. He's watching Dora the Explorer. Uh, um, so, mainly it's rap, but, you know, mainly Eminem. I do like rock. Like, someone sends me a link to a rock song, I listen to it. But it's not really enough to get me into it. I'm just a big hip-hop fan. In terms of reviewing TV shows, do you think you could review Fanboy and Chum Chum? Never heard of it. The iCarly episode with Fred. Maybe one day. And Out of Jimmy's Head. Never heard of it. 5. Which shows and movies are there that the Nostalgia Critic negatively reviewed do you like? Space Jam. Saved by the Bell I thought was alright. Um. Now, Little Monsters, I enjoyed as a kid. They might be shit now. Uh, but they're the two that really spring to mind at the moment. Which YouTube partners do you like? I basically answered this before. Um, Amazing Atheist. My favourite is probably John Lejoie, who is a singing, rapping comedian who's fucking hilarious. Uh, for Fun, 808. You know, um, Make Me Bad 35. I think he's a partner. I think that's pretty much it. Can you give a positive review to a musical at some point? There's not really many that I like. I mean, I gave... I mean, I thought the Little Shop of Horrors review was positive. Uh, Grease is awesome. I'm one of the few people who enjoyed Grease too. Uh, Sound of Music, I didn't finish, but from what I saw, it wasn't that bad. Uh, Mamma Mia was good. Thing about positive reviews, I only really do them if I have something to talk about. Like Halloween 7, there was stuff to talk about and comment on. Little Shop of Horror, same thing. Things like Grease, there's not much I can say about Grease, to be honest. I think it's a great film. Do you actually like Colkin's movies? Not particularly. The first Home Alone was awesome, but Page Master's shit. Home Alone 2 was shit. Richie Rich was shit. And I haven't seen The Good Son. What cross-dressing movies are there that you like? Boy Meets World had an episode where there was cross-dressing and that was funny. As for movies, the only one I can really think of is White Chicks. You know, there were parts in Mrs. Doubtfire that were funny, but overall it wasn't. But, you know, White Chicks to answer your question. Daniel Locks 42992 Thanks for answering my question. Now, if you ever do another one, here are my questions. 
What do tigers dream of when they take a little tiger snooze? Do they dream of mauling zebras or Michelle Pfeiffer in a Catwoman suit? I don't know, but Michelle Pfeiffer in her Catwoman suit uh, sounds pretty good to me right about now. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Since Christmas is around the corner, what are your thoughts on A. A Christmas Story Not seen it B. It's a Wonderful Life Classic C. Elf Absolutely hate Will Ferrell, he's annoying But that's a good movie D. The Nightmare Before Christmas One of my favourite films of all time Dial Fox Thanks again, here are my new questions 1. What is your opinion on the bench warmers? Um, usually I don't like Rob Schneider films because, you know, when he separated from Adam Sandler because they're usually shit, but Bench Warmers was actually surprisingly good. Two, what is your opinion on Jim Carrey's A Christmas Carol? I haven't seen it, but I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Three, what are the worst YouTubers you have seen, not including the guy who made the review of your Home Alone 4 review? Fred, um, I'm not an angry video game nerd fan, but I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say I hate him. Uh... First time viewers, what is your cat's name? We have two. One is Charlie, because I couldn't come up with any name, so I just gave him Charlie. And the other is Whiskers, which my brother named because uh, I, he was stoned or something. 40,000 Wargamer. Thanks for answering my question. My question is, what do you think of Tim Burton's films? The first Batman was good. He did Nightmare Before Christmas, which I said earlier is awesome. Mostly Johnny Depp films. The guy's a weirdo, but not as weird as Stephen King. So he's... Hit and miss, but mostly miss to me. The Fightmaster 3000. Who is your favourite slasher movie villain? Michael Myers. R.K. Onju. Here are my questions. 1. How was living in America and what state did you live in? I lived in Missouri and it was shit. Because, and I'll be blunt, apart from Ash, about four of her friends, her brother, sister-in-law, niece and nephew, everyone else was a fucking cunt. When did you start watching wrestling and what made you stop? I stopped this year right after WrestleMania when Shawn Michaels left. I stopped because, let's face it, it's been shit since 2003, you know, um, and I just kept watching it because I was, I've been watching it since 1994. So, you know, all those years, it was hard to let go. And I continued watching it because even though the matches were shit, you know, I carried on watching it for the storylines. But now, even the storylines are shit, so fuck it. Wrestling's awful and it's never going to get better. Favourite Bond movie? Like I said in the last episode, hate them all. Put your favourite Toy Stories in order, one, two, three. Three, one, two. And game 350. Think I need to get involved for the Christmas one. Okay, um, what's your favourite and least favourite A Christmas Carol movie? Favourite is The Muppets Christmas Carol. Least favourite, I don't think I've seen any more. Do you watch any other famous internet celebrities such as other people on That Guy With The Glasses or Angry Video Game Nerd and what are your thoughts on them? Um, I watch... I watch Film Brain occasionally and Mike JTV on that guy with the glasses and they're awesome. Sometimes I watch The Nostalgia Chick and she's quite funny. What are your plans this Christmas and New Year? Well, my wife got deported, so now I'm alone with my parents and my son. So it's going to be a very boring Christmas and New Year because she can't come back until April. Is February the 11th a clue to the worst film of all time? No, it's got nothing to do with the day, it's just the fact that that was when my account was made, and like I said earlier, it's meant to be February 2nd. Apologies for that mistake. And finally, can you give us hints as to what else you'll be reviewing in 2011? Um, I'm going to do another one of those week things, you know, where I do seven reviews, and wait for them to all be edited, and then upload one each day. You want a hint as to what the subjects would be? Like last time it was musicals, this time I'll give you a hint. You can do it! Mr. Cody Main 1. What are your thoughts on Will Ferrell's Land of the Lost? Not seen it, but I hate Will Ferrell. Dalek22 comments. My question. Have you ever played any of the Duke Nukem games? If so, what is your opinion on Duke Nukem Forever? No, never played it. Are you going to review any video games on PC or console? I've been wanting to, but it's just so much hassle. I want to review the, some of the Hitman games, the worst game of all time, which is Raw 2. There's been a few I want to review, but it's just so much hassle getting a video capture card or a DVD recorder, and I've got a baby to support. You know, I've only got a part-time job. Sorio Fan 2. You ever plan on reviewing The Mist? Never heard of it. Do you ever feel like it's more of a chore when making these reviews? Um, that's actually an interesting question, but no, I, I like it. Um, you know, if you mean watching the actual film, yeah, that, that's the tough part. But then editing and scripting, I really do enjoy it. Um, I edit them for myself because something to be proud of, I am proud of my reviews, and to make people laugh, to be honest.
Three, do you have a running gag? I have a few. The whole Michael Jackson jokes I could have made thing, which is dying down now. Uh, Kill the Baby um, from Jess World's cameos. Penis! Uh, I have a few running gags. You know, if you go back and watch my reviews, I'm not saying you have to, but if you want to go back and watch every single review, then you will pick up on some of the gags, starting with High School Musical. Um, I don't think I actually start any gags there, but if you keep watching... There are, there are quite a few. Four, do you have any giant plans in the future? I'm writing a book and I'm putting an album together. And when I get money, I'm going to make a site. If you haven't noticed, I haven't updated my site. Or at least I haven't put any of my videos on the site in a while because when I get money, I'm getting a professional... <laughs> that's him squealing again. I'm getting a professional to design it for me. Shorty Maker 2, what was your first impression when you saw Freddy vs. Jason? I was so disappointed because my wife got me to watch it saying it's so awesome how she loves it. And I'm sitting there saying, this is... Fucking shit. Two. Are you ever going to review Fred the movie? Fred did a movie. X4V10R. I go with my username on here as Xavier. Don't care, that's not how it spells. It's got numbers in it, bitch. And that since I have been following your video reviews, probably from the beginning. Wow, someone who's actually watched me from the start. Thank you. That I have only two questions for you. One. How is your remake of your Teen Wolf movie review from before coming along? I've seen the film so many times and it's so bad that it's, it's just getting it done. I, it's such an dr energy drainer to sit down and do it, you know. Some of these films are so hard to watch. Like, I've been hitting a vacancy review for months and haven't got it done. Paranormal Activity, because they're so boring. And Teen Wolf is so shit. It will happen eventually. Two, if you were still planning on also reviewing its terrible Teen Wolf 2 sequel after that, how long after that do we all get to see that movie review as well? I will review that, because that's even worse. Um, I might do it as a series, like do one and then do the next, um, back to back. I don't know, but they're both shit. That was the December Q&A. These Q&As aren't getting many views at all, so hopefully try to spread the word. Unfortunately, your submission is just not what we're looking for right now.